okay so now let's continue we want to do what is called modular exponentiation which means for example if i want to compute 5 raised to 41 mod 9 again you know that whenever you do a mod operation in this case with respect to mod 9 the whole result is going to be between 0 to 8. so a uh, more straightforward approach is to compute 5 raised to 41 using your calculator if it can calculate such a large number and then divide by 9 to get the remainder to be 2. And if you see 5 raised to 41 is basically what? Doing multiplication repeatedly how many times? Uh, you know 5 square I just represent like this is going to be 5 times 5 right so it is how many multiplication one multiplication so then 5 cube is going to be 5 times 5 times 5 which is 2 multiplications right similarly 5 to the 4 which is going to be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is going to be 3 multiplications and so on Okay, so when you do 5 rise to 41, it's going to be 5 multiplied uh, how many times? 40 times. Okay, so 1 less than the exponent. Okay, so if you do, do 5 rise to 3 is 2 multiplications, 5 rise to 4 is 3 multiplications. So 5 rise to 41 is 40 multiplications. So we don't need to do 40 multiplications. Uh, to compute 5 raised to 41 mod 9 okay so we are going to see an algorithm called the uh, right to left binary algorithm to simply uh, to simplify the number of multiplications we need to do so for that the first step is to take the exponent which is 41 and write it out in binary and I always use this way to do things in binary uh, write the exponents of 2 so 1 2 4 8 16 32 and if you want to find the binary representation of 41 in this case write uh, do a greedy approach of filling this from left uh, from the most significant bit which is uh, 32 so 41 is what we want to represent so 41 is uh, 32 is less than 41 so i can put a 1 so i have accounted for uh, 32 in 41 so the remaining is 9 41 minus 32 which is 9 and 16 is greater than 9 so I have to put a 0 for that and then I have 8 8 is less than 9 so I can put a 1 for that so I have accounted for 8 the 9 so the remaining is just 9 minus 8 1 so these two have to be 0 and I have accounted for 1 here so there's only one way you can represent an integer in binary so 41 this is its binary form so you could use any other way you have learned in your earlier courses to represent integers in binary but eventually you will get this of course all the leading bits will be zero we are not interested in them we have to stop uh, until uh, we get a one which is our most significant bit in this case so what we'll do is we'll compute phi rise to one mod nine phi square mod nine phi to the power four mod nine phi to the eight mod nine phi to the sixteen phi to the thirty two until this thirty two Okay. Now, in each time, as you will see here, we'll do only one multiplication in each step. So, 5 raised to 1 mod 9, as you know, is 5. So, 5 mod 9 is going to be 5. So, we don't really need any multiplication here. Now, 5 square mod 9 is going to be 5 raised to 1 times 5 raised to 1 on mod 9. So, the whole thing is going to be 5 mod 9 times the 5 mod 9, which is 25 mod 9, which is 25 mod 9. You, you know, you see the reminder is going to be 7. Okay, 25 divided by 9, the reminder is 7. So now what we'll do is we'll see 5 to the power 4 mod 9 is going to be 5 square times 5 square mod 9. Now 5 square mod 9 is going to be a 7 times another 5 square mod 9 is going to be a 7. So it's going to be like 7 times 7 mod 9 which is 49 mod 9 and 49 mod 9 is going to be a 4. Okay then 5 to the 8 mod 9 is going to be 5 to the 4 times 5 raised to 4 and we know 5 raised to 4 is 
4 in terms of mod 9. So 5 raised to 4 mod 9 is 4. And again 5 raised to 4 mod 9 is 4. So it is 16 mod 9 which is a 7. Now 5 raised to 16 mod 9 is 5 raised to 8 times 5 raised to 8 mod 9. So 5 raised to 8 mod 9 is a 7 times a 7. So 7 times 7 is 49 mod 9 which is a 4. And then 5 raised to 32 is 5 raised to 16 times 5 raised to 16 which is 4 times 4 which is 16 mod 9 which is a 7. So what we need now is put things together. You know from this why we represented things in binary. You see these are the bits where there is a 1. So we can represent 5 raised to 41 as 5 raised to 32 times 5 raised to, uh, what is this, 5 raised to 8, then 5 raised to 1. So when you add up all the exponents, it's going to be 32 plus 8 plus 1, which is 41. So that's why to get this, that's why we represent the things in binary so that we can use everywhere there's a 1. So 5 raised to 32 times 5 raised to 8 times 5 raised to 1. So that's going to be, we know 5 raised to 32 mod 9 from this, it is 7. Then 5 raised to 8 mod 9 from this, it's also 7. And 5 raised to 1 mod 9 from this is 5. So eventually have 7 times 7 times 5. So now you know 7 times 7 is 49. Again, you can take this mod operator inside. So 49 mod 9 is going to be 4. So now we have this 5 remaining over here. So 4 times 5 is 20. 20 mod 9 is 2. So that's what we got from the brute force approach also. So 5 raised to 41 mod 9 is eventually 2. Now if we count the number of multiplications that we did here, uh, you see here we didn't do any multiplication for this and for every exponent we did one multiplication. Right, so it's 5 multiplications over here. And the number of uh, multiplications we do here, we do 2 multiplications right to uh, really calculate uh, what we want 5 raised to 41 mod 9 so we end up doing 5 here and 2 more multiplications so totally 7 multiplications so instead of doing 40 multiplications we can just do 7 multiplications to get what we want okay modular exponentiation again it's not like we're comp going to compute 5 raised to 41 what we want is 5 raised to 41 mod 9 Okay, so let's do one more example. Let's say we want to compute uh, 3 raised to 61 mod 8. Okay, so you represent things in binary. Okay, we want to represent 61 in binary. So it came out to be, uh, let me pick a better example. I don't think this, everything turns out to be 1. Well, let's look at this. Okay, so 61 in binary is going to be this. Okay, so... Uh, 32 fits in here, 48, 32 plus 16 is 48, 48 plus 8 is 56, 56 plus 4 is 60, so everything is 1 up to this. So we represent up to 60, so this cannot be a 1, so this has to be a 1, so that is 61. So now 3 raised to 1 mod 8, you know, is 3. Then 3 square mod 8 is 3 times 3, which is 9 mod 8, which is 1. Then 3 raised to 4 is 3 square times 3 square, which is 1 times 1, because 3 square mod 8 is 1. So 1 times 1 mod 8 is 1. 1 mod 8 is 1. So once you got a 1 over here, everything will be a 1. Okay, so you do all this multiplication. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 3, which is 3 mod 8 eventually, which is 3. But you count the number of multiplications, you do 5 multiplications here and 4 multiplications here. So 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay. Let me go to my algorithms class and see if I have a better example. Um, let me see. It should be in this, I guess. Okay. I have a better example here. I hope this is more visible. So let's say we want to compute 8 raised to 35 mod 11. 
uh, we represent 11 in binary which is going to be sorry not 11 35 in binary right the exponent not the divide so we represent the exponent in binary so 35 in binary is going to be this okay 32 plus 2 plus 1 that is 35 so if you do a straightforward approach is it's going to be uh, this divided by 11 the remainder is uh, 10 and the number of multiplications we'll be doing is 34 since you're computing 8 raised to 35 so now let's do this more from a modular approach so what we're trying to do is 8 rise to 1 mod 11 is going to be 8 8 square mod 11 is going to be 8 rise to 1 times 8 rise to 1 mod 11 so it is 8 times 8 mod 11 which is 64 64 mod 11 is going to be 9 Okay, when you divide 64 by 11, you get what, uh, 55, uh, so the remainder is going to be 9, okay? So then 8 rise to 4 mod 11 is going to be 8 square times 8 square, and 8 square from this, 8 square mod 11 is 9, so it is 9 times 9 mod 11, so it is 81 mod 11, which is a 4 and um, 81 mod 11 is 4 because 77 is there so that's 4 then 8 to the power 8 mod 11 is going to be 8 to the power 4 times 8 to the power 4 so it's going to be um, this is 4 from here so 16 mod 11 which is going to be 5 so you do the math like this until you get to I'll include this example in your slides also uh, until you get to this right so now we want to compute 8 rise to 35 mod 11 so that's going to be 8 rise to 32 times 8 square times 8 to the 1 so that's 8 to the 32 is going to be 9 from this 8 to 8 square from this is going to be again a 9 and 8 rise to 1 is going to be 8 so now you do 9 times 9 which is 81 mod 11 which is going to be 4 then 4 times 8 is going to be 32 32 mod 11 is going to be 10 because you get 22 and the remainder is 10 right so that's what it is so this is the final answer and if you count the number of multiplications we do two multiplications here and if you count how many we had up to again 5 uh, like 1 2 3 4 5 so it's basically when you go up to 32 it is 2 rise to 5 right so that gives you the number of multiplications for the exponent part actually so that is 5 so 2 plus 5 7 multiplications right so this is how we do modular exponentiation